a crucial day in the Great Kelly case. The judge heard all the evidence and all the witnesses, but today there's one final plea. His attorney is going to lay out why he believes Kelly was wrongly convicted of sexually assaulting a four-year-old back in 2014. Kate Whitehall continues our live coverage this morning from the Williamson County Courthouse. Good morning, Kate. Good morning. Well, today, Keith Hampton, Kelly's attorney, is going to try to piece together all that was presented. We're talking about 50 different exhibits, five depositions, hours of recording to try to show the judge that his client, he says, is innocent. Now, yesterday was a big day in the courtroom as the defense continued to paint a picture of another man committing this crime and Kelly's own attorney not wanting to look at alternate suspects. Jonathan McCarty, who has not been charged in this case, has now been officially called a suspect by a Texas Ranger who testified yesterday. He said McCarty, Kelly and another unnamed man are all suspects in the sexual assault. Kelly's original trial attorney took the stand yesterday as well. And after saying she was protected by attorney client privilege, the judge told her to answer the state's questions. She testified that she knew the McCarty family since the early 2000s, since she represented McCarty's older brother, and she had a friendly relationship with the mother. The mother of Kelly's girlfriend also took the stand and said she brought up McCarty as a suspect to Kelly's original trial attorney several times, but she says, quote, her attorney didn't want to hear about it. Now, McCarty's attorney was also in the courtroom listening to the testimony and said it's extremely unusual to watch both the DA and defense seek the same outcome. In this case, they were both looking to uh, exonerate Mr. Kelly, and they were doing so at the expense of Jonathan McCarty. Uh, we've stated that he's a scapegoat, an inconvenient scapegoat for Mr. Hampton. Um, so it makes it quite unusual. And after today, the judge is expected to take several weeks to be able to come up with a ruling in this case. Several options are on the table, including exonerating Kelly, possibly sending this off to a new trial or keeping Kelly's conviction. Of course, we'll be keeping a close eye on it. Back to you.